Hello guys, so welcome back to this new video. Here we saw in the last video, we saw how to add a plugin in our configuration and to do this, what we've done, we created a folder here called my plugin and then we've added this file which contains our uh, CLI. So what is going to happen now? Now what is going to happen is that we want to follow a configuration in which we are going to keep everything under one single repo, but things can be versioned in a little bit in a different way. So everything can be contained in different uh, forms. In the docosorosconfig.js, our plugin, instead of taking this path.join their name plugins my plugin, can actually take a name of a module. So, to do this, what we're going to do, we're going to use Lerna. Lerna is a command line tool which I explored extensively together with the Yarn workspaces in a previous video, which I invite you to check out. Um, so, let's, um, uh, let's move on, let's get started by transforming this project from something, uh, everything in one repo, everything in one folder, to something a little bit more organized, in which we're going to have essentially two main folders, for this simple example, one is going to contain the entire front end of the website, which I'm going to call um, documentation or website, and another one which is going to contain my modules, which I'm going to call uh, packages. So let's get started. So let's start by moving all of our content inside a new folder called websites. So we're going to, to make a deer called website. And now we're going to move everything except for few folders inside this website folder. Okay, so our docuser installation is in here, and uh, all, uh, all that happened is that all the files have been changed. Now, at this level, uh, now we can run the command learner init to make it a learner package. Okay, so let's have a look what happened uh, in here. In here we have our learner.json, which has the predetermined uh, packages folder. And now in here we're going to add uh, a second parameter which is website because we actually want the website to work. And now we want to move uh, our uh, plugins, my plugin uh, inside the packages folder. So the, we can actually delete now the plugins directory which we don't need anymore. So we have our index.js with all the comments we run last time. However, what we need to do, we need to make this one as a real npm package. So we need to cd into packages and then my plugin. And then in here we're going to run npm init-y. However, here we get our package.json, which we're going to change from it to something a little bit better. So we're going to call it Yukosaurus YT example, my plugin. So we're going to, uh, we're going to follow the convention at name slash my plugin. And now this is our test folder. <clears throat> now we can take this plugin in here go inside our docusaurus config and replace this bit in which we are including the plugin with the file name directly with the plugin name and now we can say learn add plugin and then the scope is gonna be our website 
and this is going to add in here a section with the plugin which I'm going actually to do manually because I want to add any version to here so that is linked naturally and automatically so now we can run learn bootstrap and this should actually link the packages with the dependencies let's close all these tabs and now we have inside this package.json we want to run the command that comes from this index.js so from my plugin we want to run the my custom action as you might remember from the previous video to run the custom action what we do we run it uh, from here so we can add uh, a new command custom action which is going to be docusaurus my custom action so now we come back to the root directory and we're going to run learn run custom action it's going to find this line in here and it's going to execute this command now there is an error happening let's have a look what's going on okay so it's because we use this module inside this plugin which hasn't actually been added so now because this one is a plugin that the, we can uh, simply add uh, this plugin uh, um, to this package.json so there are a few ways in which we can do it we can add it by doing uh, learn uh, add uh, package name and then we press the scope and then this one is going to be called to the package name in my case is my plugin well actually the scope is not my plugin but is the whole string Okay, let's try again to run the custom action. And as you can see, we are running the command through learn in our package. Okay, now before we actually wrap up, we need to do a few more things. As you can see, we have more than 4,000 files changed. And the reason for this is that we moved our peg uh, git ignore file now since it is git ignore file is actually specific to docusaurus we're going to keep inside here however i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it into my other folder let's just call it git ignore We still have a lot of files because of course now this folder here also contains uh, a node module uh, directory so now we're going to paste in here another git ignore and now we just have just 93 files however those files are simply moved uh, across so if actually going to click add all the changes the majority of them are simply renominated files and uh, this is everything about how to use learn in a real uh, example i chosen to do it uh, through a docusaurus website and through a plugin because it's something i had to do for work 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, uh, please leave a thumbs up and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.